What's going on today, guys? Just, uh, you know, driving in the car. This is actually probably illegal because you're not supposed to operate a cell phone where I'm from. So, well, while driving, you're not anyways. But, oh, well, I am making a video because I haven't made a video in a long time again because I'm always busy, it seems. Never ends. Uh, going to Lowe's. Got to get a solder gun uh, for a bunch of laptops that need fixing and a bunch of electronic repairs. Plus, I gotta get some spray foam so I can finish putting in my last two bedroom windows so that we can get the rest capped. We're getting all the windows capped on the house, uh, finally. The heated most of them. Um, got our fence built. That looks nice. I'll show you guys the fence. Uh, gotta get ease troughs off and faces getting done this year. And then at some point, I gotta paint the front of the whole house too. So I'll kind of give you guys a little preview of that. I think it's been a while since you've seen the house. It still doesn't look great outside. It looks better than it used to. Um, oh, and I gotta cut the grass because it's overrun. Sorry, just watching a crazy garbage truck pulling over very quickly. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, and I'm going to EB Games because right now at EB Games they're doing a sale today. Buy one, get two free for PS3 and Xbox 360 games. So I'm going to see if there's any kind of rare gems hidden in there maybe that um, I can scoop up to resell or add to the collection. We'll see how that goes. Um, I doubt I'll head up any thrift stores today or anything. Uh, I got fuzz in my hair just because it's I got too much to do at home and I already got too much to list and stuff like that so there is no point in me even grabbing anything um, I used to be worried about it right like oh man I'll miss out on something if I don't go I'll, I'll miss out on some crazy expensive thing and then I learned after doing this for a while and selling on eBay there's no shortage of shit there's shit everywhere it's literally all over the place it's not hard to find things so I'm not too worried about it but yeah, I'll see if I can film an EB Games. It's kind of small, so it might be kind of awkward me filming with my phone. But we'll see how it goes. Lowe's, I will. Lowe's is huge. guess I could have added the fact that uh, I stopped at the e-waste, and there wasn't much. There's a little CRTV or CRT TV in the trunk. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to film because I'm driving, but there's a pair of PLA Turtle Beach headphones. They're... Uh, multi-console use. You can use them on an Xbox 360 or a PS3. I don't know if they'd work on a PS4 or Xbox One. I'll look into that. And then just a GameCube controller, a GameStop edition. Nothing crazy there. You can probably find 10 bucks. Probably like 15, 20 on these. And then a uh, little PSP, I'm going to guess. That looks like a, yeah, that's a PSP charger. A uh, little CRT TV. And then there was also a VHS, DVD, Samsung combo. So, you know, it's 40 bucks. So, it. 75 to 100 bucks pulled out of the U.S. this morning too, not too shabby. Alright, we're about to pull into Lowe's. I heard that Lowe's was closing down in the States. I can't confirm that's true. I heard they're closing down. They're still pretty big here though. Just built all these apartment buildings. Well, I, I didn't build them, but it's crazy how stuff is just going up in this town quick. I'm not in my little hometown of Kirkton. I'm actually in London right now, the outskirts of London. I don't come too far. Oh, there goes that CRT TV. I don't go too far into London anymore. I don't really need to, and it drives me nuts. There we go. There's Lowe's. Uh, and the reason I'm going into Lowe's to get a soldering gun today is they had a promotion on. Spend, uh, I don't know, X amount of dollars. It was like $200 or more and get a $50 gift card. So I had to buy a bunch of stuff for work for the antique mall, and I got some gift cards out of it. So not too shabby. Well, that was a bust. They didn't have any of the soldering guns I needed or wanted. They only had these battery powered ones, which is, you know, kind of neat, but I don't need to be getting into change of batteries on my soldering iron. I just want a plugged in one that gets nice and hot. And if I was to buy a battery one, it would be one of those cool new Milwaukee's, but it wasn't a complete loss. I did get myself some silicone. I do got to silicone the corners of my uh, shower because we tiled the shower tub area. So I got to silicone those. You can't can't grow corners they'll crack when it shifts so that's part of it and uh now i gotta kill time because it's 9 45 and gamestop does not open until 10 so i got 15 minutes to burn i know how to kill 15 minutes i'm gonna order something not very healthy and that i haven't had in a long time some mcdonald's breakfast it's nice driving the Escape. I used to drive my old ass truck, which has 412,000 kilometers on it now. It's still running, but she's running a little rougher these days than she used to. God, they got some fancy menus. I've been to McDonald's in a long time. It's not really picking it up, but 
big like outdoor LED screen. It looks like a giant phone. The big iPhone on a stand. Myself a McMuffin. Is that what they, they're called? I'll probably get it on a bagel though. So making a little bit of progress on the window. The old one's out, obviously. Oh, hey, if you guys have never seen it, there's the homemade trailer. And you can kind of see it. There is part of the new fence gate there. That post staying up because eventually there's going to be... Oh, hi, Peanut. Eventually there's going to be a, a little roof there, and this will be a wraparound porch, actually. Let's just pop out the window and show you guys. So... Watch me fall out the window. I'll still get my wife to upload it if that happens. No, I won't fall out. Um, so yeah, obviously second story up. So this is the shitty side of the house too. We got a board and batten all down here. But anyways, this will all be like a little wraparound porch. Basically about the length of the weeds I got to cut there. And some railing and a little lean-to roof. It'll go, this fence section will be gone. It'll go through there. And then you can see where that old cement foundation is that will become all deck so that's the idea behind that and yeah these windows it's a giant piece of wood well i've been trimming this one's trimmed it's taken forever because i'm using the exact or the exact one i'm using the sawzall uh this one's not trimmed long story short we had the wrong windows ordered but this is a giant like one huge piece of wood and they must just run the saw to create these slats so you can't really like knock it out easy i tried i tried getting in there uh with like fucking everything you could think of trying to pry some of this wood out and let me tell you it does not come out so i'm doing the next best thing i'm just gonna saws all it it's it's a hack job but once we shim it and put spray foam in it and then cap the front of it you'd have no idea so i figured i'd show you guys since you saw the inside of the windows there's some new windows in uh new capping up um i hate the color of this brick someone painted the outside of this brick and it's horrendous it's yellow brick on the other side and looks a lot nicer but you can see the uncapped windows down below cap windows up top eventually i think we're just gonna either uh dry ice blast this brick or paint it i'm not sure yet but the top windows look a, a lot better obviously um only downside is he was not supposed to cap them in white they were supposed to be capped in a different color because we're doing the soffit and fascia and east trough and downspout all in a different color so he was supposed to cap them in this color which is called cactus. Yes, our yard is disgusting. Uh, there's no point in fixing it since we're getting a new fence laid out. Also, yeah, there's all the bushwork back there. This is our new fence. I put the camera into widescreen mode. See, so yeah, it wraps all around the yard. There's the dog. Hey, Peanut. Peanut, what are you doing? Um, yeah, so the yard obviously needs to be done, but it's getting ripped up from the fence work and like where those patio things are sitting, that's all going to be deck that's not going to be there this will just be all one deck and it'll go out to that wraparound porch um so what we're going to do with the capping since he kind of screwed that up is we're just gonna paint it it's not that bad to paint capping so we'll paint the capping that color and then there's a big truck and then we'll paint uh the front of the house that color too and like i gotta seal our clean that all up and repaint that like it's all rusty and running down and it looks like crap but we've been slowly getting her done. It'll be nice when this brick's all painted and the soffit and fascia's all done. New roof got put on too this year. So, it's probably way too loud to hear me. I got the windows up. Hold on. Turn down. Huh, never finished that window I was working on because I got to shoot out and meet some people at the storage place that I used to uh, manage, basically. I still plow for it in the winter, but basically we got some flyers out saying we do auctions now, and a uh, girl I dealt with in the past there bought some stuff off her. Her parents unfortunately passed away, but that happens with age, right? It'll get all of us. Uh, left a 10x21 storage unit full, just front to back, roof to ceiling of stuff. Um, I don't know if she'd be comfortable with me filming or not. She was a little weird when I asked before, but I'm going to see kind of what we could do with the auction. Like we will auction everything off. See, there's a couple key pieces we can maybe pick out and consign in the antique ball for top dollar, but likely just clear it all out and auction it. Maybe there's a few things I'll buy. I doubt it. I, I am broke from house rentals. Uh, so we'll see if I can show you guys that. And then back to putting a window in. I'll show you guys the sort of end result of the window. I had to shim it all up. I just got to spray foam it and then I got to move the other bedroom window out because they were sunken in too deep, which is a pain in the ass. Trip down memory lane, driving back to the storage units. I mean, I did plow in the winter, but 
I miss it sometimes, but not really that much. It was kind of boring. I just miss all the extra eBay I could do, right? Well, all done my visit. Super nice lady. Let's make this widescreen. There we go. Super nice lady. Uh, she's going to be our second auction, clearing out her storage, and then she's got more stuff in the house, but oh my god. It's like 35 degrees out Celsius. I don't know if that is in Fahrenheit to your Americans. You can figure it out. Um, just waving at the, the new the new worker. Um, but just, she talked and talked and talked. And I got a cold and I'm standing out in this hot weather and I'm just dying. And she said like three times, oh, you don't look great. You should get going. But, so what do you think about this? And, you know, you can't be, you can't be rude. You got to be polite and nice. She's a customer and she's a nice lady and she means well, so. You know, one of those days where I'm like, okay, come on, it's been an hour, I need to get going, it's so hot. And the AC stopped working in my truck, so I gotta go with the windows down. I gotta get driving quick here, it sucks. So, see you guys at home. There's the window, done, mind the spray foam. Right at that top corner there. The can kinda broke on me and it all flew out quick, but see how deep they installed them in the first time? Not right, so I had to move them all out. and Gotta get that capped tomorrow, and that's what I'll be working on today. That's all that grinding away. It kind of sucked. Since my channel's technically about reselling, I should share some sales with you. Wow, my camera does not want to focus, does it? It's because of the light. Uh, just sold this. This is one of the items I have to pack up. It is a old Windows XP Dell Dimension. I think it's a 24, yeah, 2400. And it sold for, I think, 90 plus shipping. Yeah, 90 plus shipping is going to Windsor, so it'll run me about 15 to ship. They're a pain in the ass to pack, though. There's a computer, fits in the box pretty good. And this is what I use to protect the sides. Egg cartons. It's only going like two hours away, so it doesn't need anything crazy. Computers are pretty strong, so that's pretty good. And then I put packing material in the front, packing material in the back, cord on the top, and it's good to go. Oh my god, look at the back of my truck, it's so messy. Um, yeah, I gotta take a break from house rattles occasionally, so I'm gonna do a little bit of thrifting at the Bible for Mission thrift store. You guys probably saw me going through. I grabbed this Monster Mayhem Building Battle for the Wii, uh, three bucks. It's almost not worth picking up. It'll it'll bring like 10, 12 bucks. Um, but I'm running low on games, and Wii games do really good for me at the antique mall. Kids always seem to come in and buy them, so you know I'll throw like eight bucks on it, make a couple dollars. It, you know, it's not don't go out looking for it or anything. Then I picked up Adobe Premiere Elements. I don't know. Well, maybe I can find out. I don't know what year this is gonna be for. System requirements, Intel Pentium 4 or Celeron, okay, so we're talking like Windows XP probably era, DirectX 9, maybe like, yeah, okay, Windows XP era, yeah, there we go. So, Windows XP programming, I don't know if there's licensing, three bucks, I haven't even looked this up, I usually do good off picking up software, and then I just grabbed the Matrix Reloaded, my truck's a mess, by the way, which, that's just gonna, I just only one missing in the Matrix movie for the Blu-rays, so it's probably only worth as much as I paid. So I had no time to film this because I just had to go get it. Uh, this started off as a $40 purchase for a PS2. Before you think like, ooh, that's a lot for a PS2. It's PS2 Slim, sealed in the box, never open, and then he threw in a bunch of games, uh, PS2 and PS4 games, they ended up being sealed too. Uh, it was a total of 120 bucks. He wanted 140 for everything. So I figured I'd show you guys really quickly to end this video out. That's the score of the day. Found nothing at the thrift store, got my soldering iron, and then a shit ton of games. Right, so, 
First one, Smuggler's Run. It's got the EB Game sticker on it, but they put those on there. That's not actually sealed. Uh, let's use game. You know you're only talking five, ten bucks. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, about a $15 game. Midnight's Club, about a dollars game. This one's sealed, Pro Street. So I'm looking at about 18 to 25. Burnout Dominator sealed. This is going to be about 40, 45. Corvette sealed, eh, 10, 12 bucks. Battlefield 5, probably about a $12 game. Call of Duty World War 2, again, probably about a $12 game. Hitman 2, same thing, about 12, 14 bucks. ATV 2 is like a $6 game. Three, four dollar game, five dollar game, five dollar game, and the PS2 complete in the box with the PS2 sealed logo still on it. Gotta be careful, I don't want to rip it open. So it's never been ripped open. This, so I spent 120 for everything. This should bring me around four to five hundred dollars Canadian. I'm gonna put this probably with a couple of these sealed games and I'm gonna run it for like four eighty five hundred bucks or best offer and see what happens. Hopefully it sells. So a nice little Facebook marketplace grab.